Hello, welcome back to The Witcher 3. It's me, a Proustian. I am here with Geralt. I've decided to do this t side quest that I picked up off of the notice board. I think the herbalist who lost someone. Also, I crafted some boots and they are very shiny. <laughs> it's just... It's, it's a great look, Geralt. It's a great look. Maybe all the enemies will just be distracted by how shiny my boots are. And then I can beat them. Hello. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Medicine to do fucking One what? One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Uh, yeah, do you know any know good any advanced stuff? Formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right. Hear about the contract. Whew, a taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any what. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. Mm. I feel like every single time I take one of these jobs, the person is dead. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Okay. I always appreciate that Geralt asks because, like, he doesn't know he's in a video game with markers to show that this is the person. He needs his own game, in-game reasons. How far away is this eternal question? Oh, whoa, way further than I thought. Okay, well, I'll see you guys there. Oh. Take it easy. Huh. There are places of power here. Under this hill. Oh. Well, oh, I didn't know there were. Ex oh my god. How long have I been playing this game? I have not paid any attention to the fact that there are, like, descriptions when I hover over these. <laughs> long before men first peopled these lands. A beautiful, prospering elven city stood here, centered around the palace of King Maglor. One day, however, the city's inhabitants began mysteriously dying off in large numbers. According to legend, King Maglor sensed he too would soon perish and cast a powerful spell that caused the earth to swallow the city whole, so that no outsider could ever desecrate it. Centuries later, scholars from the Oxford Academy began painstaking excavations to King Maglor's palace in search of the causes of the catastrophe, yet work came to a sudden halt when three subsequent expeditions ventured into the ruined steps and were never heard of again. Okay, well, this herbalist friend is going to wait because Come I want now. to investigate this place. Those swirly things are portals. If I recall correctly. This isn't where, like, I'm like, 
trying to remember. I'm like, have I been here? Is this where I looked for Philippa? Is this where I looked for Philippa? Now I'm trying to remember. Was my... I think it is. Okay, so I have already been here. This has got to be... Yeah, this was definitely the place. That was a while ago. Okay, never mind. I will go keep trying to find dude. I want to look around some. Wait, what? Why am I looking around here some? I haven't even reached the thing yet. Is there something else going on here? I can raise like this come so in time. Oh. Alright, well I'm gonna keep keep on keep on. This is a big area to search. I guess I don't have any other clues except came here for Han Viber, so... There, there's red. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Uh oh. Does the blood lead anywhere? Here we go. Days old. Lucky it's not all washed away by the rain. After I steal their stuff. Is there anyone here to ask? Here we go. Talk to the right. Jord! Shut up now! Oh. We've company. What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. Yeah. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. These two make me nervous. Looking for someone him? named Fulkert. Light haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. 
Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. Hmm. All right. I don't so trust long. you. Maybe that's ungenerous of me. So I'm not going to go looking in the woods for the boots. I'm just going to go admit defeat. Hmm. Okay. Hey there. Folkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Well, I've been told what happened to him. Found some witnesses. Claim wolves attacked him. He survived at first, then went back in the woods to harvest more herbs. His luck ran out. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well... Here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well. Huh. Well, I guess that's it. Alright. <laughs> Just, I guess I expected something more. <laughs> okay, time to go visit back with Old Geard. Um, okay, so I was a little bit distracted by the, the fires here. I was like, wow, they've got a lot of bonfires going. I was like, wow, that's a lot. They're not really controlling them very well. And then it's like, oh shit, the whole place is fucking on fire. That is me, the most observant. Well, look who's here. The witch you with a stick up his ass. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a fiery pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! Did you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might be us. But not no more, you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Whoa. Nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Sod off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off. We've work to do. Hmm. But we'll keep trying Wait. to talk. I know Old Geard wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. <laughs> what is this row? Are you not done with him? My ears wither from the screams. Ah, Geralt. As you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Well, that I did not expect. Not I. You lie, whore son! 
Is he immortal somehow? Hello. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. I see. So this is one of the gifts he has from our mysterious guy. Ugh, squelchy. Now, where were we? Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed. I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little could hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all, and all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plow through that mob. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Huh. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. Huh. Not so fast. Haven't agreed to anything yet. But you'll do it. Of that I'm certain. Did you know Orgird was the one to turn the Ophiri prince into a toad? Did he not mention that No, but it that makes bit? sense. Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Orgird once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet... Her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgir grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Yeah, I'm really curious about this guy. What kind of, like, he's very powerful. He says he's not a mage. He feels more like a trickster god, but he's Come. stuck and bound by these rules. My men are preparing to depart. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa is something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Mm. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. 
I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Interesting. Could I mean, everybody does. The toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I certainly wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must have Why are we down you, here? A witcher answered the call. I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethereum mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Huh, okay. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm, let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. The house? His house? So surprised. <laughs> but why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting. Carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine. Seems uh -huh. easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Yeah, give me hints. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things <laughs> easier for you. That makes sense. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. My shiny boots. This is such an odd setup. The brother I shouldn't be too odd, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, Put it on chicken the legs. Opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Okay. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Yeah, how am I supposed Borsodi's to bring him a house? house? No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh, the only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Oh no. Guys, I only have so much money. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Yeah, that was kind of my uh, guess. Never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? 
Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be by <laughs> every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Oh yeah. Can see uh how she's doing. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, <laughs> would you? You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. <laughs> Say I need help. That well, famous girl enthusiasm. I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. All right. Okay, let's go find Shawnee again. Oh, I want to read his character entry. Glossary? Characters? Starts with a G. Gaunter Odim, Master Mirror. He's escaped a great many predictions. Uh, one of the strangest helping hands was that. Yep, we we're on the thing. Their first encounter. Okay, so this is just a recap of the things I know. There's nothing, nothing kind of new in there, unfortunately. All right. Okay. Um. Oh, upstairs, upstairs. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A fox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? Yeah, at least don't got any medal like that. <laughs> Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. <laughs> so, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Is that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a 10 L pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Uh, we'll go with not my type. There's no denying her beauty. But she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help enough guardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, elves, dwarves, halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Have I asked her this? Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Uh, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? 
Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press-ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Hmm. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Yep, I'll tell you. Where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. <laughs> it's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Well... Someone powerful, yeah. Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Yeah, me neither. Neither do I. Don't want but I don't really Jesus. have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Sounds good. Uh, how do I get out there? The stairs. I feel like maybe we could have guessed that the dead brother is in the family crypt next to their manor. I feel like that was guessable. But you know, it's all good. Choked to death on three pounders. Come on. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Pretty cool place. It's clearing up. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Wait, a, a wedding? A wedding? Whose? 
a dear friends from the academy. Speaking of which, would you go with me? What do you mean that was your notice? Um, I, listen, I am, I am in a romance with Yennefer, and I don't want to like. I'm. I wouldn't mind going as her friend. I feel like that's not what she's asking. I don't know wait, what this is. Wait, that was your notice. What notice? The one posted by the seven cats. Need a bow to accompany oh, me to a friend's wedding. Oh, that Any one. Amusing, handsome, none too old nor none too young man owning at least one decent looking frog. <laughs> no, that's not mine. So. <laughs> Will you go with me or not? Ah, uh, um, sure. Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. Okay. So the, the real question on. is This is impressive. Is the sensor You see, I assume I need to equip it. God, this stuff is so tricksy quest items. There's the Von Everick blood. Okay, there's the sensor. I don't remember what this is, but I'll replace it. And then I feel like I might need this. Oh, but it doesn't go in a slot. Okay. Werewolf meat. Huh. Anyways. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do, Shawnee? If, uh, if I have to yell for help? <laughs> nice of her to offer, though. More light. Okay. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Wow. Yeah. There's um a lot more ways to go. Not that I'm here to, like, loot the dead, but maybe just a little bit of looting. Just a little bit. I need the money. Okay. thing down. Put the, use the Eardin. There we go. More Eardin. Okay. Last of the surprises. 
Sure hope so. I guess that's Should what I get around. for looting the place. Okay, what do we have? Okay, obviously that. Anything else? Okay. Well, votive fire, lit in honor of the dead, old custom. Votive fire. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, oh. Custom. I thought it would be like an exam. Ex uh, exam. There we go. I can set things on fire though. Did that not do? Well, that did not do what I needed. Tombstone. Inscriptions almost worn off completely. That must not be what I'm looking for. They do like leaving their piles of money around for the dead. And I'm not getting paid enough for this shit, so I don't Kest mind taking it. Kestitis? Not who I'm looking for. Eulalia von Everek died in 1250. I can't wait to get cursed by the gods because I'm stealing money from the dead. But something's got to pay for all this. Hmm. Okay, let's try... Oh. Aha. What? Who's this? Crypt key. Okay. I guess I needed that, but... Huh. I feel like I'm going... not the right way? This can't be what I was supposed to do for that part. I'm so far away from the yellow circle. Oh no, don't. Don't do that. But like, uh, now I'm turned around. Is this where? That's where I came from. See, I've gone just like the oh. wrong way. <laughs> it feels like I didn't see how to get there from back there. Maybe. Hopefully the um. Yeah, I'll take all this money. This this key should let me back through. I I feel pretty confident about that. The key that I got. So this is just a chance to loot stuff, I think. Which is great but it's not what I was meant to do. But I am doing it. There we go. Okay. You know what? Actually, I am a little bit running low on time. So I will have to finish exploring this and giving this ghost the time of his life uh, next time. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye.